It all started on a jungle trail. I'd been walking for about 10 and a half hours with some of my Waodani friends, and I heard a plane flying off in the distance, right. and I just thought, you know what? There's got to be a better way for the average person that needs to move in the world at the end of the roads or beyond roads to get from point A to point B without having to be a professional pilot. And I knew that using the Skyway was the secret. That was the birth of the uh, Maverick, the flying car. Now, we went through a number of stages. First, I thought, we'll take a, uh, a fixed wing plane, you know, a normal airplane, and we'll just we we'll just build one for people in the jungles and other frontier areas. It was a long project, it did not work. And then I realized what we've got to do is we've got to invent a new technology that fits the people that need it. We started with a powered parachute, safe, very easy to fly. In fact, one of my friends from the jungle soloed in six hours. In six hours, somebody had never, never flown anything before, flew by himself. So that gave us hope, but then I realized, you know, we've got to invent a, a vehicle, a unified vehicle that will do air, it'll do ground, it'll do on-road, off-road, it'll do water, and it'll do snow. We started out with uh, a strange vehicle we called the cockroach, because finally when we first flew it, it looked like a cockroach. Then we moved from that to um, a vehicle that was the precursor of the Maverick. It was actually, you could drive it and fly it with a combi uh, combination unified control system. Uh, we went from that to a more refined version, and then finally we came to the Maverick, which now, believe it or not, is just starting production. This Maverick is only the second vehicle that I know of in the history of the world that qualifies as a flying car and has been approved by a government agency, in this case, the Federal Aviation Administration. Now, the uses are as broad as medevac, that means taking somebody who's sick, who doesn't have access to a clinic or a hospital, to another place where they can get that attention, or taking a doctor or nurse to that person that needs their assistance. It also can be used for itinerant teachers, people from one area that need to be able to go from place to place teaching people things that they need. But I think that the heart of this this vehicle is going to be humanitarian aid. This vehicle is capable of changing people's lives. That's our dream. That's what we've been pressing for for seven years, to develop a vehicle that the average person can use at the end of the road and beyond roads to change people's lives.